What up, everybody? I'm back, 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 man. I'm so happy today. I got a humongous guest for you guys, man. Humongous, humongous. And this is a big inspiration for all you young cats out there. Y'all know how we do it here at Street Knowledge Podcast. We love to keep the positivity, but we want informative information. And we want to have fun with our show. This guy, he done broke through. He broke barriers. And he's a guy to be proud of. And a big inspiration, man. I can't hold y'all up. So y'all guess what? Y'all stay tuned, man. I'll be right back with Guess what, y'all? I'm back. Once again, like I told y'all, I got a humongous guest for y'all. And guess who he is? Iso Kenny, man. Iso Kenny, what's up? Thank you for having me on this platform, man. You know, I'm just excited to, you know, be here and really just share, you know, my story, share my come up and everything. As you know, you know, it's, it's, it's just a great thing that we were able to connect because, you know, my following, my supporters, it really reaches the youth, you know, and I just really want to be that voice of the youth to let him know, like, you know, you can't have any limitations on your mind. You can literally push through any boundaries just about keeping faith and always pushing through. So I appreciate you once again, Boosie. Right. About to have a great one. Yes, man, sir. Man, man, I love, I love your personality, man. And, you know, a person at your plateau, at your, you know, at the height of your career right now, you so right. humble. And I must do say, man, it, it was a pleasure for me meeting you as well and uh yes. and for you agreeing to be on this platform i'm it's an honor to be on your platform and we really appreciate you now i want you know um as you know street knowledge is not nothing gangster but we come right. from where these kids out here is getting in so much trouble and you know these rappers killing each other when they get to a status of your uh right. nature of and we, you know, we want to try to defer them away from the negativity, man. So it's right. a, it's an honor that you up here. So real yes, quick, sir. tell us where you're from. Yes, sir. I'm from New Jersey, specifically Woodbridge, New Jersey, you know, but definitely neighboring New York, Philly and all that. But I'm from Jersey. I'm a Jersey kid. Yes, sir. Okay. So, all right. So tell us how, how, how was it growing up for ISO Kenny up, up there being a Jersey native? So, yeah, growing up in New Jersey, you know, it was definitely like, you know, a small town. It was one of those type of towns that, you know, not a lot of people know about, you know, it's just a regular, you know, well community and stuff like that, you know. Right. But, you know, growing up, you know, I always just knew that, you know, it really doesn't matter where you're from. Right. It's really about, you know, where your determination lies to get out of wherever situation you're at, because it doesn't matter about the environment. It's about, you know, the person in the environment. You know, you can use the environment to control you or you can use the environment to uplift you. And I chose for it to uplift me because, you know, the stigma would be, oh, well, nah, nobody makes it out of Woodbridge. Nobody really makes it out of Jersey and stuff like right. that. But, you know, it's about tuning all of those, you know, negative outside perceptions out and just saying, you know, if I feel like I can make it out, then that's what I'm going to set my mind on. Right. That's that's big. And most most kids need to hear that, man, because right. some of them chose the wrong route. Exactly. So what made you didn't want to cho choose being out there doing things in the streets, which you know could have gambled with your life, opposed to doing what you're doing now? Right. Even if you had a job before what you're doing right. now, what made you didn't right. want to choose the street life? What, what made me really want to not choose a street life is just knowing that, you know, I've, I've had family members, you know, choose that route and know that it really only leads to one destination, you know, dead or in jail, if we're being honest. And I knew that I had a potential bigger than that. You know, I couldn't really just let it just to see, okay, this rapper, this is what he's doing. This is what, this is the route they're taking, but I know that's just not me. You know, right. I know that, you know, for me to really get to that next level, it's understanding and fighting those demons to understand that if I choose that route, I'm only guaranteeing my failure as a man. I'm guaranteeing my failure as an artist or a musician. And then, you know, just realizing if I was in those situations, you know, God forbid in jail, you know, I'm just realizing I'm losing years of my life that I cannot get back. So it's just knowing that in this present moment, I have the full authority. I have the full control to decide, you know, where do I really want to be in the next five years? And if I know if I stay on that upward trajectory, keeping my faith, continuing to pump out 
my content, getting things done the right way, then, you know, I'm only guaranteeing the success in the long run. Wow. Yo, yeah. you really you really are ahead of your time. You you speak like you're a 40 or uh, 50 year old guy mentally. <laughs> yes, so, uh, how, can I ask how old are you? I'm 23 years old. I just turned 23 in November 17th. Wow, I commend you. And you know, I give you thumbs up for real because not most cats your age even right. think like that. Not even exactly. thinking a uh, next five year plan. You know, it's right. people our age bracket ain't thinking where they're going to be at in the next five years. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And for right. you to think like that early, God bless you. That's why you're here. Yes, doing sir. what you're doing, man. It's a, it's, it's God. That's God's calling. So exactly. tell us what it's like growing up in the household with your parents. And yeah, so growing up in the household, it was definitely, you know, a, a unique experience. You know, of course, you know, I grew up in like a split household. You know, I really was really raised and, you know, by my mom, if I'm being honest, you know, I, I was raised in a single mother household and stuff like that, you know have my had my dad you know come here and there and stuff like that but i understood I, I didn't really understand you know what it was at a young age but i just knew like you know at the end of the day you know i just have to make the most out of my situations but you know my mom was a very you know loving person caring person always you know always set it straight to make sure like yo if we're in school make sure you really just focus on the books focus on really getting things right and done you can always pursue your passions but right. make sure that you just have those value sets to know and those principles sets to know that okay if i'm chasing something bigger than me i have to put that work in you know so my mom always instilled you know courage and good faith in us and as well as my dad every time i did talk to him you know he always believed and knew that i was destined to be somebody great even though you know unfortunately he passed last year you know he always I spoke i oh, appreciate you he, he always spoke just highly words of wisdom and just gave me just encouragement to you know keep going so i just use both i use everything just as a fuel for me to just keep going whether the situation was good or bad well man i commend both your parents even if they wasn't together they did right. excellent they did right. excellent with you from from what i'm hearing at this standpoint and i can right. also say we got something in common on that note, I lost my father last year as well. Wow, uh, sorry and, for your loss. Yes, uh, I appreciate it. And I grew up with both my parents. Yeah. You know, so um, I was fortunate of that. A lot of people not fortunate, but exactly. still, it's all about the parenting. And you are a prime example of two parents that's not together that right. did good, you know? Right. And I come from them streets. I was out there running with them bad boys, yeah. you know? And I had to figure out when I had to do a lot of changing in in my life right. with with doing the right thing. And I and I thank God that I'm still here and he gave me the chance to do so. You know right. what I'm saying? And guys like you are encouraging to me and to show me that that I am on the right path. And right. I am gonna help these kids not take the path that I did with guys right. like you that's helping out. So, right. you know, this here is going to be big because guys like you don't have older brothers or their parents that stay on them and keep them tight. They have the mothers. Sometimes right. the mothers can't do what the man right. can do. So we want to be the big brothers. I have my, yeah. other, my other friend. His name is Unique Mecca Audio. When you get a chance, you yeah. check him out. He tell prison stories oh. because he, wow. he want to show the youth um, what he went through during 26 right. years. He had life. Thank God they gave him his life back. And he's back right. on this side doing the right thing. Right. So, you know, um, so that's the things we're doing. We want to be the big brothers to the guys out there, out there, you know? Exactly. So, right. Yep. Give us uh so direct us to what made you want to start rapping and how did how did this whole big phenomenon come to un 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 uh unveil itself? Right. So it's, 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 that's a great question. How did I really come to rap? And honestly, music was a passion of mine since, you know, six years old. And I honestly, it's funny enough, I remember like, you know, being six years old, one of my, you know, inspirations and role models to this day was Michael Jackson. So I was really more of a singer before I was a rapper. I remember just having my own notebook, you know, writing songs in it and stuff like that. And then I say probably when I got into, you know, when I was 13 or so, my uncle, uh, Zach, he had just introduced me to like, you know, rapping and stuff like that because he was an artist. So music was really just stuck with me at a young age. I always just knew music was going to be one of those things that followed me throughout my life. 
And then, you know, once I graduated high school and stuff like that, you know, I just really took that leap of faith to understand, okay, I've been kind of shooting this music for a long time, my passion for it. And I did start with, you know, creating content. It was more so comedy skits and stuff like that. You know, one of the things that I was most really known for early on was back in 2018 when I did like parody skits of like, uh, oh, wow. or, yeah, parody skits of rappers and stuff like that. You know, and then I realized, okay, people was really rock like, oh, well, you should really sound like this rapper. Yo, you should really start making your own music. And I'm thinking, yo, I think this is the right time. So 2018, I introduced my music. Well, he had ups and downs with it, but I never gave up. And then until last year, that's when I really put things on full gear motive. And I say, you know, I'm just going to be a full out artist, you know, singer, rapper, and just really be myself because I feel like I'm a versatile and a flexible artist. And it's honestly just content for me to inspire and people grow to love and really, you know, appreciate. Your story is big, man. And uh, we got, we got, I'm waiting for the documentary now. That's got to go that's next now. That's tough for so. That's got to, I, I, I got to help you out with that one now. That's and so. I was just that. watching some earlier with my brother, Damon Dash. Are you right, familiar okay. with Damon Dash? That's of that's course, that's, legend right that's, that's that's my brother, man. That's a legend. Great right guy. There. A lot of people just don't understand him because he tells the terribly honest truth. But right. he was just saying earlier today uh, that somebody asked him a question: Why do most people fail when they're trying to be an entrepreneur? He said, "Because they're not consistent." So what you mm-hmm. just said, I wasn't giving up. I'm being consistent. There's right. another plus for you mentally right. knowing not to give up at a young age like that. Most young people give up and be sitting back in the house playing video games and right. thinking that that's what the life is or end yep. up saying, man, I'm going to go out there in them streets anyway. Yep. And you right. didn't give up and God blessed you, man. So right. I just seen him saying that today. And now I talk to you and at your age bracket, this is what your mental was with that so that's right. probably where you at so i have another quick question yes sir um what are some challenges now that you face being a a, a super popular guy so worldwide? That's, that, that's a great question honestly i feel like you know it's, it's it's more so the challenges that i face and just understanding that you know i'm breaking through the mold and understanding that you know old things you know, I, I can't really do, you know, I can't really go to like the same old places I may have grew, grew up with because, you know, with this rise of, you know, fame and popularity, people do forget like, you know, envy is still around. Envy and jealousy is still around. So, you know, it's really yes. dealing with those things. I've had, I've gone through crazy situations in the past where, you know, those, those types of emotion have consumed people to really want to, you know, threaten me in a way, you know, because they just hated the fact that, you know, I stayed, I, they seen me at, they seen me at my lowest point and come up. So instead of really just showing that, you know, wow, being inspired by people, most people, you know, chose to be inferior. So that's kind of the challenges that I face, but understanding that, you know, it's, it's really just about you versus you at the end of the day, right. you know, because. It's, there's going to be those things that sell down. They, they call it like in a way survivor's remorse, you know, when it's just you've made it out in a way you're really breaking it. The things that you dreamed of, the things that you never thought were possible, you're actually doing it. And it's just one of those things where you, you go through that, you know, reality check. It's like, yo, like, do I really deserve this in a way? So, but it's understanding that you did put in that work. Don't ever feel guilty for your success because those are really the challenges that, you know, a lot of people may face because of feeling like, wow, like, I don't know, like, but but it's 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 really just the you versus you thing at the end of the right. day. But, you know, it's just it's just about always seeing it through and understanding that God is always on your side. Right. right. Well, I commend you on that for thinking on that right. level because most guys, when they get to your status, they still right. feel that they can go back and hang out where they're from. They don't want to feel like they're selling out their hood. Right. So mm-hmm. Some of them want to <laughs> say. I'm this big star. I can still be in the hood. I ain't got to worry about nobody doing nothing right. to me. You you can't be a tough guy right? and be a star at the same time. Because now right. you do something wrong, you hit somebody, they can sue you. You yep. kill somebody, you're going to be all over the TV. Where can you run and right. hide? Exactly. Nothing works for you being in that atmosphere. So right. it's, it's, it's safe to say and, and pretty much to really say there's no need to even go back to the hood where you're from, unless it's done correctly, you you strategize going there to show some right. love, 
security, exactly. whatever, however, it's got to be done right. Just thinking you can just jump out and go there now. So I'm glad, I'm glad that you have that in your mental because it's not selling out. It's just you being right. smarter and you've got to exactly. be here for your family because if something happening to you, all the right. people that you're helping in this right. game that you are applying, giving jobs to, um, right. helping your moms do whatever, you know, it is that you do for her, your aunts, right. uncle, whoever. Right. You got, you are, you are somebody that's well needed and as well, just you caring about your own self. That's very smart. My exactly. producer, Jack Beats, wanted me to ask you. Yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself? Where you hope to be in 10 years from now? Cause he's and, he's loving your conversation. He he's behind yeah. the scenes, but I I love exactly. to chime him in with what we got going on. Where you see yourself ten years from now? That's a that's a great question. I honestly see myself being really, you know, a pioneer and a really shifter of breaking the mold of artistry and content creation. Because you know nowadays I feel like you know it's one thing to be an artist but to be an artist that understands social media is a two different things because now it's just not the music it's just now okay knowing the digital aspects of it so i honestly see myself of course still being a superstar being very respected in the music industry really breaking the mold you know of you know doing things differently choosing not to really be different cuz oh people can say i'm different but i chose to disrupt i chose to really you know, okay, I see the norm, but I'm cracking the norm and I'm understanding that, you know, I can even take it to the next level. So I honestly see myself, you know, definitely at, at the top of the game, uh, one, one of the, you know, most iconic artists, one of the most influential artists, just not on the music side, but, you know, even on the motivation side, on, you know, business side of things and understanding that, you know, I was once that kid that, you know, didn't think that, you know, wow, this was possible. I made it here, but, you know, I'm still going to give that knowledge and spread it, you know, to the youth. Even right. you. uh, now, that's what we're talking about. Spread yeah. this knowledge to the youth. Good right. Yes. Uh, so tell me about your rise on TikTok, man. Tell me how that just like started, man. And what just actually putting it yeah. on TikTok. Yeah. Waking up every day and seeing the numbers get bigger and bigger. Yeah. Tell me that feeling, because I know I wanna yeah. I wanna know that feeling one day. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm about to learn from you. Yes, yeah, so, so honestly, and, and the thing about it is the story of me and TikTok is really truly the story of, yo, stay down till you come up and don't give up. Because right. you know, it was back in really in 2020, I really started to get on TikTok. I really wish I got it on like 2019 because that's when it really started to peak. But, you know, I was I was lit on Instagram or whatever. So I just chose to one platform. But TikTok showed me like you really want to maximize your presence on all platforms. So with TikTok, you know, 2020, I'm posting, mind you, I really didn't make musical content as I'm making now. It was more so the skit comedy stuff. And I remember, you know, the whole platform, I'm making content and people, it's not really going crazy. It, it, it's, it's not getting the numbers I wish it was, but somebody would use the same sound that I made on their video and go viral. You feel right. me? That can play something on your mental to understand if like, yo, TikTok got something against me. Like, yo, who, who, which CEO I got to screw up with? They got to stop playing with me. You feel me? But, you know, it was just, yeah, it was just, it was just real realizing and understanding, okay, this is just really honestly a test. You feel me? Regardless of whatever it is, I know if I truly want this, I'm just going to post the content for the thing of making it, not more so the result of it. You know, I'm going to really focus on creating the content because that's where people get lost. They do this to get this, but. You know, I honestly make content and try to always tell myself, yo, I do this because I love it. And you got to get back because as you raise in the ranks, you can kind of start to lose, you know, what made you want to start in the first place. So I just chose, okay, okay, TikTok is really not showing me love and all that. So I grinded and grinded and grinded for months and months to come. Yes, people think that, yes, we live in a world where overnight success can happen, you know, but you know, nine times out of 10 is really not like that. You know, right. of course, I feel like today you do have a better chance of being discovered because of such absent play. So, you know, I'm posting and posting and posting. And it was at a moment I was about to give up. But I said, you know what? Let me wow. just post this. You feel me? Post it. One skit that really sparked it, you know. And then now I'm starting to get back within the algorithm. And then back last year, that's when I, you know, invested in myself got studio equipment. I bought my boy's laptop. He was like, yo, Iso, you just got to buy my laptop, bro, so you can learn how to master, mix, master. Well, I don't know how to mix, master, but just really record yourself. So I took that leap of faith, you know, 
started recording. It was my senior year of college last year. So I was really just locked in last year and just, you know, posted. And then next thing you know, I had just one of my skits, musical skits go viral. And, you know, that really just started to give me the ideas of, okay, now I know where I want to take this. Right. So not, it was just kind of, I created a formula for myself. You feel me? I created a formula for myself that was proven many times. And then up until this point with Speak Up, that was just a crazy experience. This is probably like, you know, one of the, uh, probably the crazy experience because people don't realize, you know, actually back in July of, uh, back in July of this year, a couple months ago, I had went to Miami for a celebrity basketball game. Right. Long story short, you know, it was the third quarter, you know, um, 10 seconds left and Terrell Owens is on the opposing team, right? This is a right. crazy story. So right. we try to throw a full court pass to T.O., and I don't know what in my mind possessed me to think I could jump with T.O. I tried to jump with T.O. and try to block him. He scored. But when I came down, I tore my Achilles, you know. Wow. I, yeah, crazy. So it was just one of the most unexpected things. And I just knew, you know, that I knew I tore my Achilles because I tore my other Achilles back in 2019. So right. it was like everything flashing before my eyes, you know. Wow. So I get surgery. I was in a cast. And the reason why I speak up is so crazy is because I made speak up in my living room while I was in a cast and wow. to see that go crazy and now just realize, yo, like you really can do anything. So just re seeing speak up, I posted it. It's at a million, two million in a day. I'm seeing people making videos and TikToks to it. And I'm in a cast, mind you, so I can't even walk. You feel me? So it's just like, That's see everything. yeah, everything happened from that perspective. You know, then eventually, you know, luckily I'm out of my cast now. I've been going to physical therapy and with this song going crazy, I feel like everything just happens for a reason. So all glory to God. So, Thank God, man. I know about yeah. that. My daughter broke her Achilles. Yeah. And I had to uh, pay for her to learn how to walk again and everything, man. Yeah. That wasn't, that wasn't good. Yeah. So you, over, you overcame that. Um, so, you know, everything... That glitter ain't gold is some some bad things to everybody right. on the inside, but it's all right. about you as a person to right. fight back through that all. Exactly. Through it all. Mm -hmm. So it's safe to say that um you did the stay down till you come up thing. I yep. I, I have a, a mixtape hosted by me by one of my artists named Spit of Fargo. Okay. Um, that's interesting that you said that, because I'm a firm believer yep. in that. And that's why we put that mixtape out. Fire. But going back to when you first started trying to control this yeah. uh, career of what you wanted to do, you didn't just start overnight. You said you started oh. way back then and learning yeah. the game and learning the game to the point where you almost was ready to give up. And you said, no, I put in too much work to right. want to give up. Right. And so that's what taught you the game by failing. People don't understand yep. failure is really teaching. Right, exactly. You're not gonna you you're not gonna win unless you fail. Right. And nobody mm -hmm. does everything the first time right the correct way. Another exactly. saying from my brother Damon Dash. Nobody right. ever does the, the the does it right the first time. Some people get lucky, some right. but it's very slim. Exactly. So that 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 that's big. So right. tell me now, um what can we see in the future? So definitely for ISO Kenny, man. What's going on? Talk to me. Man. Definitely in the future for ISO Kenny. Definitely just expect more music, expect more creative ideas, really just branching out. I have this thing called, you know, I built the ISO verse where it's just, you know, characters among ISO Kenny. So, but it's just really more so personalities. And it's just the, it just allows me to, you know, tap into so many different cultures and different, you know, marketing and stuff like that. So definitely expect you know, ISO Kenny to really just go crazy within the music to show you more sides, more shows, more right. performance more outings and just really connecting with my supporters for real. Right. Yes, sir. That's what's up. Yes, so, sir. uh, I've been talking with Cleve, man. We getting ready to, uh, figure out this college tour, man. You got, uh, how, how, how are your college people treating you, man? Do you, do, do you know your, are your fan base between North Carolina, South Carolina, all the way down to Atlanta, Georgia? How, how they treating you? They've been hitting you up. Yes, sir. I definitely have some fans out in, um, you know, North Carolina and the South for my, my biggest target demographic is really that 18 to 24 range. So that's definitely like a college range for real. So right. definitely just, you know, want to really definitely make, 
you know, that in-person connection, that tangible connection, because, you know, you can be on social media, but people have to know you in real life for, you know, because right. that was the thing that I faced, you know, I'm on social media saying, yo, I, so when are you going to do a show? We need to see you. So I think this is actually the perfect time for me to step out, really breathe that, you know, sudden air, you feel me, and get in touch. Right. With my real right. Life. Yeah. I can't wait to introduce you to the, the Southern there, North Carolina and, yeah. and, uh, you know, all the big humongous colleges that we have out here. And then we take yeah. it down to South Carolina and take it down to, to Georgia and, you yeah. know, meet, meet, meet your people, man. Meet, meet yeah. the essence of who, you know, uh, uh, right. supported your movement. And by you coming out, you understand already. Cause you just said it. Support right. you, you showing them support back. So right. that's exactly. a beautiful thing, man. For yes, really. And I really commend you and I appreciate this interview, we're not finished, man. We're going to do some more things and then we're going to come back and do this interview all over again with all the new stuff. And so yes, we can sir. let the people know what I So Kenny doing. I want to keep them in tune with I So Kenny, man, as yes, much sir. as possible, as well as all the other interviews with other people, too. Yes, sir. Real. Yes, sir. Well, I appreciate yes, sir. you, my brother. Yes, and sir. thumbs up. And we getting ready to talk and do some big things because it's about the youth. And yes, sir. You got awesome. It. And big thumbs up again, once again, my brother. I yes, see sir. you. So y'all know what it is, man. Iso Kenny, y'all go and follow him. If you haven't yes, been following him, and not, you're getting yes, ready to see a whole bunch of big things he got going on for him. So y'all know what it is. Street Knowledge Podcast. Your boy, Big Boosie. I'm signing out. See y'all.